Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHex.com um, So I've got the review of the CM7.1 Kang um, I'll show you Sinogeman uh, 7.1.0 NS Kang um, This is one of those, Kang just means it's one of those experimental, super experimental uh, versions of Cyanogen Mod 7. It's not official and it comes with this Calimo Co AZ kernel, uh, another experimental kernel I believe. Um, I've tried using Trinity kernels on top of it. Um, I wasn't really getting good results. But this this does come with a uh, overclockable up to 1.44 gigahertz. Um, you can go to settings Cyanogen mod settings, performance, okay, CPU settings, and you can adjust your max CPU fre frequency to 1.44. But for testing purposes, I'm gonna leave it on demand and uh, at just default. What I really like about this ROM is that it runs really fast without any overclocking. And for the purposes of testing with it, I got the uh, regular CM7 here. Um, not overclocked, so they're both at one gigahertz. So I'm gonna run quadrant test. Um, so let's do it, and you will see that the one on the right, um, this is the Kang version. It's a lot faster. See how it's beating the uh, the regular CM7. Anyway. This is a great ROM for those of you who want long battery life without sacrificing speed um, because it does give you wings and you know a lot faster speeds especially in the graphics area uh, without any overclocking and with overclock you can expect um, it's not su it's, it's still not as fast as CM7 plus Trinity kernel but it is uh, a lot a lot better um, as far as I can tell from quadrant speeds we've got 2648 versus the regular CM7 2197 on average it gets almost 500 you know points more on quadrant um, with the same you know um, freak CPU frequency so this is a great ROM but let me uh, tap it a little bit um, you can max it up a little bit let me uh, max up the performance to 1.4 gigahertz, 0.44 gigahertz, um, and also I set it on performance so I can get the maximum out of it. And let me run another quadrant test for you. So the Kang is like the mystery version. You can barely find links to the downloads, um, but I'll have download links below on my servers. Um, so you guys can find it. Uh, but this it's a really great ROM. Just it's highly experimental, but you know everything's working, and you know it's actually a pretty good ROM. They just want to make it call it experimental, I guess. But you know it's pretty fast ROM. Um, you're not gonna get like you know, some people have reported that they were able to use with uh, Trinity kernel 1.4, 1.544 gigahertz. You can try it, but uh, my mine kept freezing even with 1.3 gigahertz. So I got 4202, which is very respectable for 1.44 gigahertz. Um, some of the other features, it's basically CM7, but you know, um, you get extra features like if you go to development, you can do ADB over network, which means you can use um, TCP IP, like you know, you can have your phone here and then you know ADB it from your office, you know, 30 minutes away. Um, other than that, it's you know, it's pretty much identical to CM7. And uh, it's it's a good ROM, so you know try it out. Um, if you're looking for a lot of performance increases without much overclocking, and uh, this might be it. Um, try it out. Battery life should be really good. Um, this is only for the Nexus S, not the Nexus S 4G. So don't um, flash it on Nexus S 4G. Uh, anyway, try it out. Let me know what you think. This is a great ROM. Um, great. Much faster speeds than regular CM7 without any overclocking. So, see y'all. Thanks, Zach. Later.